My Tuesday session didn't go quite to plan. Within the first half an hour, I'd kind of overdone it with all the punching of the full twist and straight fronts and the vaults. And my plan to be brave and get the full twist and straight back on the floor just wasn't even an option, which was gutting. So with nothing more left to do, I just did some bar work. I've been needing to work on my soul circles, so this was a good opportunity, but all in all, pretty disappointing in terms of what I really felt I needed to get out of this session. And I guess that's just another challenge when it comes to gymnastics and competing in a competition, because your head might be in the right place, but if your body then doesn't allow you to do things, maybe because you're pushing it a little bit too hard, but nonetheless, with such a short period of time before the comp, I need to get these moves on hard floors. Hi guys, so it's the end of my session. I'll be really honest with you, it wasn't um, ideal. Had a really good start, ended up training, did my full twist and straight fronts, boom, on the tumble track, did my round of uh, flick falls, was ready to do the round of flick full twist and straight back today on the floor. Ended up going and doing some vaults, was really good with that, got a big hard springboard, made a big difference, really pleased. Then I injured my calf, uh, or my hamstring, so... I have been um, enjoying icing it. Um, I tried as hard as I could to do stuff on it today, but well, by the end I could barely walk. So yeah, it was very, very frustrating. I did do some bars, which I was pleased with. Got a few videos of those um, and was managing to do a soul circle. I got my soul circles. That is something that was a, an achievement, I guess, today. Um, Again, the springboard is a really good thing because it's showing that actually I am, you know, getting the rotation a lot better now. But my two things I really wanted to do was get the full twist and straight backs on the floor. And then I also wanted to uh, go and do some vault preps, the hard end. And I missed out on both of those, um, which is worrying. So I have just taken some um, amino acids. <laughs> just literally trying anything to stop my poor body from being broken um, I'm going to go up I'm going to do another Epsom salt bath I do have a massage tomorrow already booked in so that's coming at perfect timing very very frustrating because it's not like I didn't I, I couldn't go for it you know I wasn't backing out but it's that balance do you train on an injury and and then that's it it's gone you know and I was getting enough signals really I shouldn't have done the last vault but I'm glad I did do the last fault in honesty because um, I've got to get those bad boys onto a hard floor. So that's where we're at. Not the best today. Um, just got to keep looking after that body as best I possibly can. So I'm going to run up to the bath now. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please click the like and the subscribe button. And um, yeah, watch the adventures. Let's see how I heal. Let's get this party started. This is actually... Radox. <laughs> uh, the red didn't look necessarily appealing. Um, and I go hard with the old Epsom sorts today. I'm going to open another one and properly fill it up. So, good morning, YouTubers. Um, I wanted to do a quick post just basically to say Epsom sorts are absolutely amazing. I literally soaked myself last night. Um, I'll turn my car off. Hang on. Um, I soaked myself last night and my leg is so relaxed. I'm about to go to get a massage. I had it booked in anyway, which is perfect timing. Um, but yeah, I've just been thinking about maybe doing a different way because I think I'm doing a lot of kind of punching when I'm doing those full twist and straight fronts. And I think that kind of really didn't work well for my leg. So you've got that and then the vault straight after. I think that's how I got that injury. I'm feeling so much better today. I'm going to have a rest day today. Hence, I had my hair down. It never happens. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to get loads of oil in it. But yeah, going to go and see Tracy. She's like the best massage therapist ever um so yeah wish me luck and um i will keep you posted on my journey today fingers crossed i'm gonna be ready for a great session thursday here i am i just finished my massage and um i have to say it was amazing like i just feel so chilled out but when i was on that table my body even though i said it was feeling good after the Epsom sorts. As soon as you touch every muscle in my body, it's painful. My whole body aches. Um, 
and she, you know, um, Tracy noticed I had some sort of tension in my hamstrings. Um, she said, you know, she could feel like oh, it's about that big, so you know, the the change in texture. So that's not ideal. Um, and then also said, uh, you know, that Achilles was really sore today, and even like my arms, my my lower back. Oh my god. But this is one of the things, it's like, I have to look after myself. As long as I'm looking after myself and having massages and doing the Epsom salt baths and all of that, you know, straight afterwards, I've got myself a drink and I've got my, um, uh, the BCAA, the proteins, because I need to give the body the fuel now to recover. A lot of people take all these supplements because they think it's about gaining body mass, but Actually, for me, it's not, it's about the recovery. The only thing I'm trying to do is speed up that recovery. Give all, give my muscles all they need so that they can recover as quickly as possible. I'm gonna now just listen to some really chilled music. I'm gonna let that body just, I'm driving to Eastbourne. <laughs> but that's good because it'll mean I'm doing nothing technically for a little bit. So I'm just going to be, um, yeah, like I said, just relaxing and I let this body settle now with all of that great work that's been done and I got my fingers crossed that I'm going to be in a really good position for tomorrow for my training session let's see how I feel later <laughs> liver and bacon it smells amazing so I ate really well this is liver and bacon um had really good food yesterday and then finished off with a bubble bath gonna be ready to rock and roll tomorrow